Hello, Pokemon fans! I'm Professor K! And what did you know, guys? Talk about a blast from the past! That's right, we've got this super premium collection Mew and Mewtwo box. This thing is just ridiculously big. I've never seen a Pokemon TCG product this size before. I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> it is! I don't even know where to begin with this thing. There's so much in here, guys. This is something that you can get a hold of through either Barnes or Noble, Barnes and Noble, or the Pokemon Center. And I think Barnes and Noble is actually sold out of it, and I think the Pokemon Center is too. Uh, this is now no longer available until October 3rd. Aye. Yes. So this box is just huge. There's so much in here. I can't wait to get started with it. There's just ridiculous amounts of stuff. Um, they actually retail for $79.99. And I got a coupon code that I found online that this cost me like 68 bucks. So to me, it was worth it because of everything that's in here, but you guys will see that here in a minute. So as you can see on the front of the box here, we've got a special book featuring the art of the Pokemon trading card game, a sculpt sculpted figure uh, featuring Mew and Mewtwo, and a never before seen Mew EX card, which I think is funny because the attacks have been seen before, and a brand new Mewtwo EX card. I mean, they don't say never before seen Mewtwo, even though it's a different art. But it has the same attacks as the Breakthrough one. I, I don't understand. But hey, you know what? Whatever. So I don't think there's actually anything on the back. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. I can't believe how big it is. Oh, okay, here we go. We got something on the side here. So here we've got what's inside is going to be these three boxes. We've got 10 packs, two promos, the Mew and Mewtwo figure, and the Illustrator uh, book as well. Some really awesome artwork inside. So let's go ahead and read this here real quick. This collection brings together these two Pokemon with a detailed behind-the-scenes history of Pokemon TCG illustrations, the handsomely illustrated Pokemon trading card game illustration collection featuring interviews with artists and creators from the early days to the present. Discover the history of some of the wildest illustrations and the techniques used to create Pokemon art from Rayquaza to Pikachu with example sketches and interviews. The TCG uh, Pokemon TCG Super Collection Super Premium Collection Mew and Mewtwo Box includes, and you guys already know all the stuff that's here. There's a code in here as well, and also some dividers, which I see are not pictured here. So, I mean, let's just get into it, guys. Let's just yeah, do no it. Yeah, no more wasting time. Yeah, there you go, see? $79.95. Wow. All right, the cover is off. Let's see, man, how are we even gonna go about this? All right, so we got cardboard. More cardboard. It feels like an Elite Trainer box. I'm gonna take this off of here. All right, so that's what we need to set aside. Here is the Illustrator Collection book, and oh man, these boxes in here are really cool. Um, here's the book, which I don't know if I really want to open or not as a collector. Um, I feel like I have to, though. But yeah, we'll go over that here momentarily. Look at these boxes. Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Those look like Elite Trainer boxes. They essentially are, and I think... Oh. Wait a minute, let's see. They're slightly longer than a standard Elite Trainer box. So you can see here the Plasma Storm one. It's just a little bit longer. So that's kind of cool. And there's nothing inside. But yeah, they're just like Elite Trainer boxes. You're absolutely right. That's kind of cool, I have to say. The artwork on them is really nice too. So there are those three boxes. That's why this box is so big. It's mostly these things. My goodness. Well, that is really cool though. So we're going to set this off to the side. And we're going to take a look here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's crack it open. Good. <laughs> I want to see what's in here, and I'm sure you guys do too. A lot of collectors would be sketchy to open it, including myself, but you know what? We'll go for it. It's a little bit taller than my camera range goes, but there you go. Illustrator collection, so it's got its own cover, which means that, oh, that's kind of cool too. So you got color, not color. Neat, very neat. All right, so let's open this thing up here and just kind of flip through it here just a little bit. So there you see some of the ways that they draw, like Celebi! the Celebi. That's neat. i um, got some more creator files here. Some of the different cards. There's Lysander up there, the full art Lysander, talking to the different artists who create them. Some of the card artwork there that's being drawn. The Electivire from Fury's Fist and the Magmortar as well. That's awesome. Oh, there you go. There's a Lucario. Yay, Lucario! <laughs> oh, man. This is really neat. So many pictures and so much detailed information. I mean, a lot of people don't even think about the artist when it comes to these cards. It's just, oh, these are pretty cards. But this really goes and shows you everything that they do step by step on a lot of these cards. Very cool. There you go. Yeah, like giving them artists some 
the needed appreciation. Yeah, I mean, after 20 years, yeah, they deserve it. <laughs> That's really neat. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw something. Where did it go? If I can find it. Uh, I saw a Blaziken somewhere. There it is! Yeah! <laughs> so, there is the booklet here. Of course, you know, if you want to see it a little bit more in depth than that, you guys are more than welcome, of course, to try to find one of your very own when it comes out. If you haven't already, all right, so here we go. We've got the figure, the two promos, and all of these packs. So much stuff in this box. Now that Mew promo is why I said Blast Move Pass. Yes, exactly. And these are actually textured full arts, which is very uncommon of promos. That's, Ooh. that's something I knew about going into the box. Let's see if I can get this other one out of here. But why weren't you the old Mew too? Yeah, the X-Ball one would have been really cool to see, but, you know, I guess we can't have it all. And the code card actually redeems the promos and 10 packs Ooh. inside of the PTCGO. Let's put that over there. We got the dividers here with the little Pokeball pattern and the 20th anniversary logo. Those go with the boxes that are over here. And then we've got all of these packs. Let me make sure we actually have 10 packs. Show them the Three, promo. six, nine, and 10. Oh, I am. I'm getting to it. So first we're going to show off the Mewtwo promo here. We've got Mewtwo EX. Now this is the bad one from Breakthrough. When I say bad, it's just the one that's not that playable. Um, 170 HP with Photon Wave and Cyburn, and his X and Y promo number number 125. Which I think is kind of weird because we're already at like at 150 something. Yeah, I was say, are we way above that? We are. They're, they've kind of taken this route where they jump around a bit in the uh, X and Y promo numbers. And I'm not sure why exactly, but hey, hey, whatever they want to do, it's up to them. But I like the fact that it's a textured promo. It really shows how special that these cards actually are. So there's the Mewtwo and the Mew. This card was originally printed in Dragon's Exalted, and then it was printed again in Legendary Treasures, Mew EX. 120 HP with the ability Versatile. The Pokemon, uh, can, this Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents, but you still need the necessary energy. So we did kind of get a small replacement in the Mew Hollow, that we uh we saw recently and but you can only use your own basic pokemon's attacks and the hp is pathetic and the hp is pathetic it's 50 whereas you get 120 here granted it is an ex it gives up two prizes but this card was very very important in night march and it has a few other places in some future decks too i think but this one is also textured too and the artwork is fantastic though i have to say i think i like the dragon's exalted one just a little bit more just a little bit not yeah. much so there's that. And then we have our figure here as well. We've got Mewtwo and Mew here together, which is perfect, actually, if you think about it. No, it's weird. They're enemies. Well, I mean, Mewtwo came from Mew, so I think it's perfect that they put them together. I know, but in the movie, they're enemies. They are enemies. You're right, but, you know, they're related, which is why they probably hate each other. <laughs> that explains a lot. That does explain a lot. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let N start off the packs here with five of them. And like I said, you know, 10 packs of generations. Hopefully we get some good pulls out of these. Yep, none of the Jolteons. All right. So let me start this off here. Mine, mine. Mine, mine. Mine. I took what packs I wanted, All and right. I'm starting with the Pimple Monster. If pack wants to cooperate. As usual. Ah, come on! I'm doing the top ripping part. Yeah. <laughs> Venusaur hates you. I actually think Venusaur is the hardest pack art to open, though. For some reason, it just seems to be consistent. Ah. All right. Let's see what we get. All right, we got Clefairy. Diglett, Water Energy, Magic Fish, Snorunt, okay, I said it right, Maintenance, Machoke, Reverse Hollow, Nurse Joy. I don't know why this is Pokemon Center Lady Nonsense. Nurse Joy, Altaria, and Mega Charizard EX. Oh, wow, that's a nice way to start things off. Hey, I can deal with that. Charizards and Jolteon, that's perfect. Yep, this is how you want to start it off. Keep it coming. And it's mine. Value-wise, about what, 18 bucks? Yeah. That already brings us uh, down to $50 total cost of the box. <laughs> yep. Uh, 
Man, Generations packs are just not your friend. I think it's like they feel like really sealed. Well, you open these? Yes. All right, I'll help you out. Uh, great. Just why I need something else for you to put over my head. I'm gonna put it over your head. I'm just trying to help the video. All right, so we got Diglett, Water Energy, Magic Fish, Ponyta, Floral Crown, Metapod, Cloyster, Reverse Rachu, <gasps> Sparkles! We got the Sparkles, guys. We got the Sparkles. Nice. And we got the triple. who cares? Sparkles! <laughs> we got Sparkles! All right. Three, all right, three, okay. Let's see what we can get some this time. We got, we got Catter to pee, Machop, Electric Energy, Shelter, Fletchling, Clefable, Eva Soda, ooh, Reverse Hollow, Electric Energy, nice. Meow Stick, and Tauros. Nah. Where's the EXs? And Forks. They're eluding you. You left it for me. I don't believe that. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> Pikachu, Dark Energy, Slowpoke, Paras, Snorunt, Energy Switch, Shiona, Reverse Hollow Red Card, Sparkles again. We got Spark and Duck Tree. Wow. Wow, what the heck? Second time in a row, Duck Trio with Sparkles. But That's again, so weird. who cares? We got Sparkles. Final pack. Can I finally get the EX out of here? Because I do not want the professor getting all the EXs to himself. Alright. We got Steel Energy. Pikachu. Clefairy. Meowth, that's exhausted from Thug Life. Charmeleon, come on. Nurse Joy. Red card. Reverse Hall Fan Club. Jirachi and Rapid Dash. What? Wow. One EX out of your first five packs. That is actually unheard of ratios for generations, at least for us. Yeah. Wow. In, no, in general, that, that ratio in generations is practically unheard of. Well, let's just hope that mine go five for five or whatever. No. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so since N was opening up, I decided to take the opportunity to go ahead and show you guys what I was talking about with this Mew EX. If you're not familiar with the older cards, now here is the promo that we just pulled. And there's also three different other variations of this card. So we've got, this is the regular art Mew EX from Dragon's Exalted. Look at you all smug-like and stuff. It actually looks fairly similar to the pose that he has there. I mean, at least the head anyways. And then we've got the full art from Dragon's Exalted, which I think is just, just a little bit better. I think it's a little bit clearer, a little bit sharper. I like the artwork a little bit more. And then, of course, we have the one that was printed in Legendary Treasures as well, which is more cartoonish, but... I like That's the middle the one. one. Like everyone uses. Yeah, everyone pretty much uses this one. It's the cheapest of the th of all of them, but um, yeah, I think this card is still worth like forty bucks or something like that. Last time I checked, but it's been a while, so it could have dropped. It could have gone up. I don't even know at this point. But that's what I was talking about with the um, UEX similarities. All right, so we've got five more packs to open up here. We're halfway through the box. I'm gonna start off with Blastoise here, and hopefully pull better than ended. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that all we got out of that was a Mega Charizard, especially with Radiant Collection EX uh, ratios being so high. I just have to hope that I have them all. I don't. Alright. If I suffer, you suffer with me. Fire Energy, Geodude, Tangela, Magikarp, Snorunt, Metapod, Cloyster, Reverse Hollow Gengar, another oh Dancy, and a- What? What? Did this just happen three times? Yes! How in the world did we manage to pull that combination off that many times? Well, the other Dancy somewhere. Oh, here it is. This is unreal. Three Doug Trio, three Dancy. Okay. Um, enough of that, please. <laughs> we get it. We get it. No more. I'm done with this. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. One, two, and three. All right, we've got Magikarp, Fairy Energy, Doduo, Tangela, Floral Crown, Shauna, Persian, Reverse Hollow is a Geodude, a Slurpuff, and a Snorlax. What? At least you're suffering with me, so I'm okay. What is this? This could be the worst Generations 
Uh, worst generation. The worst 10 generations packs of all time. I'm kind of shocked. I, I, I gotta say, though, lately our generation's luck has been really bad. I've seen people pull 11 ultra rares out of this, and we have one. Machop. Lightning Energy. Shelter. Clefairy. Raichu. Graveler. Revitalizer. Reverse Hollow Hitmonchan. Another Deancey. I swear, if there's a Doug Trio back here, I'm just done. Okay, it's a Rapidash, but you pulled a you pulled a Rapidash earlier too. Yeah. What? We got two packs left. So four in a row with Deancey. Two packs left, guys. I, mean, I do approve of the Deanceys, but I want Ultra Rares. What is going on? Well, not pulled by him, so. Ah, <sighs> Rhyhorn, Zubat, Ponyta, Diglett, Swablu, Shauna, Clement, Reverse Hollow Rapidash, Swirlix. And a Hitmonchan! What? What is what is this? What? I, I've never seen this before, guys. Never. We've always gotten our ratio since we started opening up generations here on the channel has been every two packs has an EX. We've opened up nine and gotten one. This pack would have to have all EXs really to make up the difference now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we got like the worst box ever. Okay, the good news is, we didn't get skunked entirely. The first and the last pack had something. So we got something here. We got a uh, Lightning Energy, Slowpoke, Machop, Paris, Charmander, Machoke, Persian, Reverse Machoke, a Charizard, and finally, a Meowstic EX. <laughs> Sparkle Army General! <laughs> Wow, I can I, honestly I am in total shock. I got so many sleeves over here ready to go because I haven't seen anybody pull less than eight ultra rares out of this box. And we got two. Two. Hey, wow. That is an accomplishment. That uh, you know, this this could classify as the worst Mew and Mewtwo super premium collection box of all time. I I can't believe it. Well, <laughs> only us. <laughs> only us. We get the best and the worst. You get to see everything here on the channel. There's no in between for us. We either go all the way or we just don't go anywhere. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, even then, I have to say, it's got some pretty cool stuff in it. This book alone, I think, is worth buying just because it's got such cool artwork inside and it really just goes in depth about the artist and what they do to make the cards for us. Um, the figure's awesome and the promo cards are also very cool. But if I knew this was our pull ratio, <laughs> I wouldn't have got it. But I promise you, if you go and check out other people who opened this up, such as Jordan Japan, 8-Bit Bach, and many, many others, uh, they did better than us by because a Because we're bad. We're awful. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're awful. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this terrible, terrible, terrible opening, <laughs> <laughs> feel free to hit that like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more TCG content. And before we go, I just want to give a shout out to you guys once again for showing up to the uh, live stream for regionals that we did last night. Uh, the response was phenomenal, just overwhelmingly fantastic. We did hit our goal Within and exceeded it. an hour it. and a half. Within an hour and a half, we hit our goal. We exceeded it by $100. Um, I gotta say, big shout out to Golden Eagle 22 for donating $450. That was incredible. And everyone else, everyone else who sent any kind of donation in whatsoever, you guys are fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, well, that's enough for today. Um, <laughs> Mega Charizard and Meowstic EX, the polls of the day. We hope to see you guys in the next video. So until then, I'm Professor K. And I'm N. And we'll see you guys next time with hopefully some better polls.